Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Olivia Lavie's Romantic Home. In today's video, I am taking you guys shopping with me for fall goodies at Hobby Lobby. Plus, I'm hosting a Louis Vuitton dupe tote bag giveaway. I'm gonna be giving this cute little tote bag along with, um, it has like a little wristlet that goes with it in this video. All you guys have to do to enter to win this cute little Louis Vuitton dupe tote bag is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below. I'm going to leave a secret question in this video. So just listen for that secret question, comment, share, like, subscribe. Again, this is just a dupe, it's not the real thing. But these are super fun and fabulous. So listen, I know you guys are here for the fun fall goodies. Let's go ahead and jump into this Hobby Lobby fall shop with me. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are at my local Hobby Lobby. They do have 66 and 75% off clearance in my local store. The first place I always run to are the new coffee mugs. So they are 40% off. In fact, all of the haul goodies, fall goodies are. This mug says, I love fall most of all. I share a good morning Instagram story with you guys every single morning, well, almost every morning, and a prayer card. So I love to have several different cute little fall mugs or seasonal mugs to put my coffee in and then share my little um, prayer card with you guys. This looks new to me. This looks like a tea mug and then there's like cute little gnome mugs. And then I love this one that says sweater weather. Cute little pumpkin spice mugs. Oh my goodness. And then I love this Snoopy with a football mug. I did end up getting a Snoopy mug. And then I also got this cute little gnome mug. I love the little sunflower that he's holding. Now let's pop in to the best spot of all, all the glorious pumpkins. Well, actually it's all the best, but here are all of the lines of pumpkins. Now I did purchase this green one last year. It looked really pretty mixed in with some of my um, orange pumpkins. I also love this sweater pumpkin. How cute is this? And I'm super excited that they already have 40% off fall. And look at how beautiful their larger velvet pumpkins are. They're so nicely done. They have the gold, the green, the pretty kind of bur burgundy, and then the orange. And then they have a size that's even a little bit bigger that has like the little Cinderella swirly top to it. Now check this copper pumpkin out. I always feel like these copper pumpkins are so pretty. I don't mix in a ton of copper, but if I'm going to, that's definitely the, be the one that I would choose shoes. There's that little um, natural looking pumpkin. I love these painted pumpkins. I always look at them and think that I would love to get one. And then I just never do. I just always admire them every single year. I think it's because they are a bit pricey. Um, and then here's some cute little pumpkin topiaries. I love these rustic pumpkins. I think this is something we could actually DIY. So moving on to the fall pillows. Oh my goodness. I love the fall pillows. I have the silver pumpkin one that's up top. I'm also kind of eyeing this one with just the creams in it. I love this cute little happy fall with the buffalo check. And then here's a cute one with just the regular little kind of pumpkin. I love all the textures on these. I think it's fun to find a nice little accent pillow to mix in with your regular pillows. I love also this muted pumpkin with the muted sunflowers. Um, this says sweet fall with the gray buffalo check plaid and then the pink and blue and white pumpkins. Each pumpkin I see, it makes me want to do a different fall theme in every single room. Let me know if you guys are with me on that one. Summer is ended 
I think these fall kitchen mats are really nice, especially if you do a lot of cooking and you need to get, give your feetsies a little bit of a break and a rest. They come in different colors and they even have this cute little red truck one and they have like a really squishy top. And I like this Buffalo check plaid one as well. Here are some cute little fall storage boxes. The one that had the scripture on it caught my eye. I thought it was so pretty and so sweet. And check this out. Look at how pretty this is. It says, give thanks to the Lord in all that we do. I think that's what it said anyway. I don't have my glasses on. But here is this cute little thankful, grateful, blessed. This looks like a nice little cookie tin if you are going to be giving a gift for someone or maybe even a pie tin. This one says give thanks and has a beautiful, vi vibrant, pretty sunflowers on it. Here is a taste of some of the smaller fall wreaths. They have the wreaths scattered about in my store. I thought that this is all that they had out, but I will share with you guys um, some more pretty wreaths that they have this season. They had one in particular that I really had to resist buying because I already have one somewhere, but oh my goodness, if I had a large home, oh, I would definitely be buying that one. Oh, and here we go. Do you guys see what I see? It's a peak of Christmas. My store did have a couple of Christmas aisles out already. Now here's some pretty little fall bowl fillers and the potpourri. I did end up getting a potpourri. This is the first time ever I've gotten potpourri. And here's another aisle of Christmas mixed in with the fall. I'm thinking that they're really gonna put out a lot of Christmas in my store. Look at how pretty this potpourri is. Um, I did buy some of it and it smells delicious. I went ahead and set it out already, even by my front door. I just couldn't resist. Oh, it smells so good. And then here is some fun little smaller fabric pumpkins in the buffalo check with the orange and then with the black and white. I love this little fall sign. I can't remember if I... Um, purchased that one last year or not. Here are some large oversized stand-up signs that are going to be great by the front door, home sweet home, and then the cute little scarecrow. Here are some really beautiful fall paintings that you guys can use in your home. They're all different sizes and all different themes and sayings. This one says, meet me at the pumpkin patch. That one looks new to me. I don't remember them having that last year. Um, I do have this one that says pumpkin patch, apple cider, and hayride. I think that's a really cute one. I also have this pumpkin one that is below it. And um, I think I even have one of the pumpkin topiary signs, or I might have given that to my son's girlfriend. Um, I think I love the sign that says fall is proof that change is beautiful. That one really caught my eye. And I thought that it was just really a sweet addition to the fall vibe. I love fall because there's so many signs about being thankful. Now, I will tell you some of these signs, like these longer ones and these smaller ones, you're going to find them very similar at Dollar Tree for $1.25 so make sure you check Dollar Tree before you grab any of these smaller signs because Dollar Tree does do from a lot of these Hobby Lobby signs. <laughs>
so many fall goodies to catch your eye. I'm wondering which ones are catching your eye. So there's going to be a secret question for this video. I am doing that purse giveaway. It's a Louis Vuitton dupe. It's not the real thing, but it's super cute. And I've had mine for a couple years and they hold up really, really well. Um, and the secret question is, what is your favorite fall saying? So all you guys have to do to enter my Louis Vuitton purse giveaway and it's a fake purse it's a fake louis vuitton um is to comment your favorite false saying so is it thankful grateful blessed um i would love for you guys just to light up this comment section with positivity and just thankful gratitude type vibes um, so I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Here are some pretty chargers. And I just love that deer platter that I shared with you guys just while I was talking. And here's some pretty neutrals. I love this little squirrel bowl and these cute little coasters. I feel like we could DIY some of this stuff though. Pretty easy. Ooh, and I'm loving this beautiful kind of sparkly glam pumpkin placemat. They do have for fall a lot of of tablescape ideas and honestly you guys I would love to do a tablescape with every single theme I went kind of crazy later in the video just setting out different ideas for tablescapes as I went along and saw placemats and plates I really could not control myself in that respect so I'm guessing the workers probably thought I was a little cuckoo number one I'm filming in their store and number two I'm arranging things and trying out different ideas and of course I always put everything back but I thought these were cute these welcome to our patch signs i think this is definitely again something that we could do with a couple of the dollar tree signs these are kind of like little shelf sitters and look how pretty this lantern is i'll decorate it up with a nice little led candle inside Here's some really cute, fun fall socks. I love these cute as pie, the little fox. And then that one said, who's judging? I thought that was really funny. Now, moving into the scarecrow section, I thought these scarecrows were so adorable. There were so many different ones to choose from. I don't remember if there were this many last year, but maybe I just found so, some of them really, really cute and adorable. I feel like I'm moving into grandma mode. I even noticed, you know, like, the fall bibs and stuff. Oh, I can't wait to have a grandbaby. I mean, I don't want to rush anything yet with my kiddos. They're in college right now, so not quite time yet, but anyway, check out how adorable this little scarecrow girly is with her little gingham dress. And then I love the larger scarecrows. I always put a couple out in my front yard and my, by my front tree. I also love this mini mouse scarecrow. How adorable is she? And then she has a Mickey counterpart up here too. They were up on the top shelf. I love this little guy too, holding this sign. This says pumpkins, bonfires, nature walks, s'mores, autumn leaves, lattes, and apples. Oh, oh, you guys, I'm so ready for fall. It's been a pretty hot summer, but it hasn't been hot for long. So I'm wondering if it's going to be hotter later into August this year. It's kind of been moving in that direction, it seems like here's some larger metal fall signs that I thought were really cute I always eye this one but I get a lot of wind up in my up on my top of the hill and I'm worried that the wind would kind of knock that one over look at how adorable this little black and white check scarecrow is and all the scarecrows seem to have a little boy and a girl so they have like a little couple I love how this Hobby Lobby clipped the signs or the 
mats to the wall. So look at all these different welcome mats that you can put by your front door. I felt like it was just a really great way to display them. You can see everything. I love this pumpkin mat. So there's an orange pumpkin mat and then there's a white pumpkin mat. And then, so I'm sharing with you guys um, how you could display these at your home. You can either do the buffalo check plaid or you could do the white and cream check plaid. Um, I chose the white pumpkin with the white and cream check plaid because I've had the opposite um, before. So anyway, I have this wreath. I love it. I'm going to jazz it up with a pretty new bow this season. And look at this guy. I really wanted this scarecrow so bad. He's so cute. I want to put him by uh, my front porch, but he was a little bit pricey. I just wasn't for sure if I should spend it. I don't know. Let me know if you, if you guys think he's cute enough to go for it. Um, and then look at this super adorable bit of garland. It's some pretty, pretty long strands of beads you guys can use on your mantle or in bowls or really in any little spot. And then some fun little burlap strips. And then this one says blessed. It's like a metal sign that says blessed and it's mixed in with the bead. So I thought that was interesting. Now moving on to some more fall signs. These are kind of the ones that you stake into the ground. And then I love these little hanging goodies that you can put on your door. Oh, there's so many fun things. They have fall picks with the little pumpkins and scarecrows and gnomies. They're just so absolutely adorable. Here's some more larger fall signs. I love the little trucks and the give thanks and the white pumpkins. There's also mushrooms that they're showing a lot this season. And check out this giant pumpkin. Oh my goodness, these are so, so big. I'm gonna try to show you guys with my hand. I can't even convey to you how, these are just so large. Um, I don't think I have a yard that grand enough for those large giant pumpkins. Anyway, here's some cute little Nomi signs and scarecrows and just all kinds of fun stuff, you guys. I just felt so festive now I've recently redone my patio to make it look kind of like a Barbie dream house patio not really Barbie but kind of it's got some little hot pink features on it but it made me want to go full on inside my home fall so then I would have pink flamingo hot pink furniture in the backyard and then fall going on in the house does that ever happen in your home where it seems like there's multiple seasons going on here's some fall football goodies if you guys are a total football fanatic uh, my son used to play football. I'm not quite as into football now that I don't have. Oh, oh my gosh. Pause. Look at that. My first season. Ah, family fall and football. So if you guys are into football, go to Hobby Lobby. They've got some really cute stuff. I love you to the end zone and back. And I did end up getting this cute little Snoopy mug. I gave it to my daughter. And then look at this little football gnome. Oh my goodness, you guys. So many fall goodies. Okay. If you love to craft uh, Hobby Lobby has that pumpkin wreath form, and I just shared with you guys um, a cute little video on my Facebook channel on how to make a wreath with the little pumpkin wreath forms. Here's some pre-made bows if you don't want to fuss with your bows. Um, they have tons of ribbon, deco mesh, all of that kind of fun stuff. This candy corn ribbon looks new to me. I don't remember them having that last year. Maybe they did and I just didn't notice it. I may do some whimsical candy corn stuff. I'm really trying to decide what fall theme should I go with, you guys. Let me know what you're going to do. Are you going to do traditional? Are you going to do candy corn, sunflowers, plaids? Let me know. Um, I also thought about doing some little pops um, like in my bedroom with some pink fall. I thought that would be cute. Look at how pretty these wreaths are. They're so beautiful. They're a little pricey and I have some really nice ones that I purchased a couple years ago from Hobby Lobby. So I'm really going to try to just use those and maybe pop in some pretty ribbon um, to freshen them up and some maybe some new little pumpkins or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it but I wanna make them look a little bit new without having to invest more. Here's some really, really pa 
fall, really pretty fall neutrals, just beautiful garlands. I have this one garland that has neutral pumpkins on it. It's really a pretty one. And then the orange one is gorgeous as well. You guys see my huge mantle displays that I do. I did like that idea that I shared with you guys just there with the, um, the metallics in with the fall so that might be an idea that i can do to kind of glamorize things a little bit too i feel like i want to do a little bit more glam just something a little bit different maybe some more pops of neutrals i don't know look how pretty these are um the little hydrangeas that look like they're kind of just nice and fall dusty fall <laughs> and then i love this pretty vibrant wine color oh i think that's gorgeous more Christmas. I feel like I keep pausing for a Christmas break, but I have to share with you guys what my Hobby Lobby is putting out. Now, my Hobby Lobby also had a whole section of just blank things that you guys could make your own crafts and fun things that you guys could craft with your kids, lots of little miniatures and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, so if you're a teacher, I thought this handprint owl kit was adorable and it had 12 different handprints that you could do. So if you had a classroom of 20, you could just buy two packs of it and they're 40% off. I thought that was a pretty cute deal. Here's tons of little fun and fuzzy garlands. I just think they're all so pretty. I probably wouldn't buy any of them, but I think they're just all absolutely beautiful and would be really cute on a mantle or just in that special spot. So this section has the fancy pumpkins. I love this one that's painted with a pretty little blue rose. There's Cinderella pumpkins. There's Buffalo check plaid painted pumpkins. There's this really funky white pumpkin that had all kinds of funky like corn stalks. Maybe it was a corn stalk pumpkin. Um, teal pumpkins, just different colors. There were some pink pumpkins in this section. These are just kind of more of the specialty pumpkins. Look at this pretty pink. I do already have some pink pumpkins. I believe I'm really not going to buy a whole lot on this shopping trip because I need to get out my fall goodies and go through everything. I know when I put up my fall, I swore to myself that I wasn't going to buy more fall. So I'm really going to behave myself this year and get all of my fall out and lay it all out and see what I might need. Now, Hobby Lobby does have a clearance of 66% off and these are spring shop items but look at this this looks like it could definitely pass for fall some of these things um just seem kind of fall to me you guys could always paint them or if you have more of a shabby chic or neutral home you guys could use these baskets for pumpkins they also had little stools i was talking to a lady in the store and we were talking about this it's like some of the things that they're showing for fall are also in the spring shop section at 66% off, very similar. So shop the fall first, then go to the spring shop and see what you guys can kind of pick up for way less. <laughs> Here's a cute little sparkly glittery pumpkin. Ah, oh, there is so many pumpkins. It's like the great pumpkin patch. Oh, I wish I could have one of all of them. They're so, so pretty. I remember my little nephew would come over to my house and he would count my pumpkins. 
he would say, Livy, and I would have him guess. I would say, how many do you think I have, Isaiah? I love this leopard pumpkin. Every year I see it, I want to buy some, and then I don't. Ugh, anyway, so here's 75% off clearance. This was originally 65, and it was marked down to 17. I thought it was really pretty. I actually had it in my cart, and then I had no idea what I was going to do with it. And so I'm trying not to buy things that I don't know what I'm going to do with. So I'm going to share with you guys just towards the end of this um, section, all the different colors put together. So here's kind of like the neutral fall colors, a display. I think the displays are nice because it gives you ways to pair things. Here's a pretty orange display with all of the orange like pumpkins and fall signs. Um, I think that's also really pretty. I, I really could do almost any theme. Here's all the metallics. I love this farm fresh copper sign. I know it's been really popular the last couple of years and I never got it, but I'm still eyeing it. Here's this pretty black and white fall ideas. So many great ideas, you guys. Now we're moving into kind of the tablescape sections they have for fall. They have a lot of like fall and Thanksgiving ideas. I love the black and white check. It's so farmhouse and chic and just really, really pretty. You guys can even add some gold rim paint around some of these things and it could look like, like a Mackenzie Child's dupe. Um, and then here's more kitchen items if you need to refresh your kitchen. And again, everything is 40% off in the fall section. I love these little tiny cups. I don't know what in the world I would use them for. Let me know. Are they, I think they might be little maybe espresso cups. I don't know. And then here's a large coffee stacked goodies. I thought this was really pretty, this black cutting board. I think it's maybe more for decor. I don't know if you can actually use it as a cutting board. I have this mug, Hey There Pumpkin. I think I got that one last year. And then they have some black and white plates. I thought that I really love how they're giving you guys a lot of options for different colors. So you're not just locked into the orange, although I do think orange is gorgeous or fall. I like this let the stuffing begin. There were so many like little puns and fun things. I love this glam gather placemat and this leaf placemat. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting in to the time where I am going to start decorating at Hobby Lobby. So get ready. <laughs> I'm going to share with you guys some little fun tablescape ideas. Unbeknownst to the workers there, I'm here and I'm decorating. I can't resist myself. I could probably work at one of these stores and just do their displays and I would probably have a really fun time. Okay, here are some pretty little white pumpkins with the gold. I feel like these are so chic and glam if you want to do more of a glam um, idea for your Thanksgiving or your fall. Oh, I love these glittering placemats. Okay, here we go with the decorating. I'm going to add this pretty plate and then I have some of these white leaf um, display, uh, just little tight bowls. So pretty. Ah, I love this pumpkin table runner. I could have every table runner under the sun. I do have some of those gold napkins. Now here is more of the wooden section. So natural and gorgeous and beautiful. Ah, check your spring shop though. They still have a lot of spring shop, 66% off, very similar items to what they're showing in the fall section.
Here are some super adorable aprons if you need to freshen up your fall and Thanksgiving holiday cooking with some cute little aprons. I think these are absolutely adorable and fun. And check these little scrubbers out. They had so many really cute little scrubbers at Hobby Lobby. I was really surprised, um, especially their little sponges. They have little decorative sponges. I love this cooking measurement equivalents. And these little bowls are adorable. You are the apple to my pie. Ah, so cute. I don't need more little bowls, but I have an obsession with little bowls. Let me know <laughs> if you guys are the same way. We have even tinier bowls, like really tiny bowls. Start each day with a grateful heart. What a great reminder. Look at this adorable sponge. Ah, and then they had a lot of little mushroom things, mushroom and gnome things. I thought those were really cute. Just, you know, kind of vintagey. Like if you were stepping into a 1970s kitchen, I thought that was kind of fun and fabulous. And check out this gnome cookie jar. I have the gnome um, little mug. I thought that was really cute. They have a bunch of gnome stuff still. Look at these little cute little spoons. Ah, I think those are so adorable. Ah, I can't take it. Okay, look at these little adorable mushrooms and these vintage style glasses, so cute. And then here are some more gnome salt and pepper shakers, just so many fun little things if you're still into the gnomes. Um, and I love these little bowl covers. Look at how pretty these are and they're different sizes. I think they would fit on my Pioneer Woman bowls. Be lots of pattern going on, but just an idea to keep things covered. We've been having a lot of flies where I live. I don't know if you guys have been experiencing that, but it seems like more than normal, or I don't know, maybe I'm just sitting out on my patio more than normal. Here's some super adorable little kitchen tiles. I love these. Oh, they're so beautiful. Again, I could have one of each. So, so pretty. I love these little spoon rests with pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes so many fun fall sayings you guys oh and look at this little blue truck ah so adorable Now we're moving into some of the fall critters. I love all of the little owls that they're showing and then the little trucks. So many just adorable things. Look at these. These are like a larger mushroom. They look like they're kind of wooden with a copper top with that owl. I think that would be so cute. And then here's one that has like the little gold top really really adorable they also have been showing some different fox ideas look at these little foxes and raccoons and porcupines so 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 cute and then they had these little guys i wasn't too crazy about their faces but i don't know what do you guys think does that does that guy look kind of mad i think he's a pheasant um but he looked a little bit angry to me
and here are some more fall critters how adorable is this pig i don't do a lot of farm animals in my house but i think this pig oh he is so cute his little face and then look at the little porcupine with the book how cute is he? He's got his little glasses on. He's reading a fall storybook. I just know it. And then this one is a little girl, his little girlfriend with some flowers. He must have brought her some flowers. And then look at the fox. Such a sly guy over here. <laughs> and then they have fall Christmas trees. And then look at this little fall birdie and her boyfriend all dressed up and ready to go for a fall walk. And then look at this raccoon. He's super adorable. He would probably scare Benji Bear, I'm guessing. I wanted to get one of them and put one of them out so Benji Bear would have a little friend. He has a little deer that I put out during Christmas. He always barks at. I think this squirrel would really make him go crazy. Easy. I might have to go back for this squirrel, you guys. I have a squirrel in my backyard that looks almost just like him, but look how bushy this guy's tail is. <laughs> I'm not sure why they made his tail so bushy. I don't think my squirrels have that fluffy of tails, but maybe he's a 1980s or 1990s squirrel. <laughs> There's that turkey down there that says eat ham. I thought that was funny. And I kind of actually like these uh, fall turkeys. I thought that they were really, really cute. Look at these little fall pumpkins. Here he is. This little turkey's holding a sign that says eat ham. I don't blame him. <laughs> Here's a fall little gnome shelf sitters. I think they're really cute and they're not that expensive. I think they're 14 and then they're 40% off. So not a bad deal there if you guys are loving these little gnomes and all these little fun critters. I think it's fun to add in a little critter to your decor. It gives everything kind of just... I don't know. It gives it some personality. I feel like here are some pretty little glam. And then <laughs> look at these guys. Those little crows were so funny. I can't imagine putting crows in with my decor, but anyway, here's some little cute pilgrims and some Indians and some really cute little owls. Oh my goodness. You guys, so many fun things. Um, I love this teal owl. And he's actually really a pretty good size. Here's some really fun little glassware if you're into kind of the amber glassware. There's little vases and cups, and here's a cute little stand. I think these are really nice to have. I love to use risers in my decor. Here's a really pretty small one. I'm guessing they're gonna have some things like this at the Dollar Tree, so you guys might wanna check too before you go all in on some of these smaller items because you can get them for $1.25, but then check the prices against the 40% off and see what kind of deal you're gonna be getting there. Um, this one's really pretty. I can imagine this with some wheatgrass in it would be really beautiful. Um, here is another one. I realized once I went through this shopping trip and I was editing this video, how many glassware items I was picking up. <laughs> And I'm always really, really careful. I've never broke anything, knock on wood. Here's some really pretty, um, I would use these to make a table centerpiece, pop some styrofoam and some pretty flowers in. Now, I want you guys to check this Spring Shop 66% off because they did have some baskets and some different bowls that were kind of similar to these. They didn't have this pumpkin on 66% off though. But I just wanted to let you guys know if you're a savvy shopper. Um, I love this Farm Fresh Pumpkins. I have that. And these are pretty for storage as well. You can never have too much storage if you're a decorator or a crafter. <laughs> Here's a pretty little wooden riser. This would be easy to DIY in my opinion. I always think about things and I'm like, oh, how can I make that using Dollar Tree supplies? Do you guys do that? Let me know. So this was a really long shop with me and I tried to show you guys every single thing that they had at Hobby Lobby. I just really wanted to give you guys a complete overview so i love watching videos like these that other people make because then it gives me such an idea on what to buy and it just gets me so excited and so in the mood for fall so let me know if you guys are loving this type of video i'm definitely going to be doing tons of diys coming up um but there were so many fun different ideas and it just really put me in the fall mood even though i know it's july <laughs> 
um, that maybe gives you guys a little bit of a break from the heat, just thinking about it starting to cool off. And we're also going to be doing some Christmas in July videos. So here was that fall item that I thought looked really similar to the one in the spring shop. Here's some cute little pumpkin spoons. Oh, there's so many goodies for your kitchen. Now, don't forget to comment the answer to my secret question to enter to win that purse giveaway and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be giving away a couple of these purses on my different platforms. I just really want to spoil you guys. I wish I could give one away to everybody. <laughs> Look at these cute little mugs. Oh, I forgot to pick one of them up for my daughter. I think I want to get her the little fox or the owl. She's kind of a little bit of a bookworm, and I just thought those would be really cute for her to have her tea in. She doesn't drink coffee, but she likes to drink tea. So I love y'all. Thank you so, so much for being here. Um, Benji Bear says hi. I'm so thankful and grateful and blessed, and I'm going to say goodbye to you guys in an outro and tell you guys more about the purse giveaway and show it to you guys. So keep watching, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I love you so, so much. shop with me don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and comment down below for your chance to win this fun little louis vuitton dupe tote bag um, i'm going to be giving away to one person i'll leave the details in the description box but it's super easy to enter all you guys have to do is subscribe and comment so super easy and this is a great little tote bag you can use it throughout the summer and even into the fall i'm going to be giving away another one on another social media platform so don't forget to also check out my Olivia's romantic home Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all of that fun stuff. Who's excited for fall? I also got this really cute little pink um, a pumpkin t-shirt off of Amazon. So I'll leave this linked in my Amazon store as well, as well as these cute little white boots. Let me share these with you guys. Oh my goodness, these are so adorable. So check out these fun little cowgirl boots. Um, super, super cute. Listen, if you guys have been following along with me, you probably know that I recently broke my ankle. So the fact that I'm back in my boots and I can walk again in my boots and I can even do a little boot scoot and buggy. Um, it's super exciting for me. So anyway, um, thank you guys again for being here. This is my fifth season on YouTube. And so, whoops, I think you guys are crooked here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so this is my fifth season on YouTube. I'm excited for a new season of fall crafting and decorating. Then we're going to do Christmas. I'm also going to be doing some Christmas in July. So stay tuned for all of that. I also did a fun and fabulous little patio makeover project. You guys can kind of see my patio through this back door. Um, I used some pink paint and I went to town and it just upgraded my patio. So go back and check out some of those videos. I also did a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys all of the pink goodies that I found at Dollar Tree um, to create my little magical dream house patio. I'm excited for the new Barbie movie. I have girlies and so I'm going to be taking them to go see that. Um, so anyway, I love y'all to the minute back. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. I love also sharing with you guys just a little tidbit at the end. Um, and my tidbit is to be kind online. Um, we are moving into such a uh, 
world of being online social media and I remember our written words have more impact than we realize so whether it be texting or commenting on somebody's Facebook or Instagram post you know just be very careful with your words try to be positive and uplifting if you see a post that somebody's made you don't ever know what's going on behind their day um, don't add any fuel to the fire and leave negativity to that I always try to when I get on um, Facebook and I scroll or maybe it be Instagram or TikTok I like to to like people's posts so I'll give myself a goal like of liking and hearting five people's posts so if somebody posts a cute picture of their grandkid or their kiddo or their husband or an activity that they're doing give that person a like a heart a comment that joy that you spread is going to come back to you it's gonna make you feel better about yourself you know don't get trapped in that idea where you're ranting behind a keyboard um, because that's really not gonna add anything to your life I promise so put that joy and positivity back out there it's gonna be like a boomerang and it's gonna come back to you and also no matter where you're at in your crafting and decorating journey keep going um, keep up the good work I know at the beginning of this year I was a little bit down I was actually pretty down for a while when I broke my ankle I was in a walking boot for three months um, it was really scary I couldn't walk after I got out of the walking boot it took me uh, several weeks to get back on my feet and now it's taken months um, to really even begin to get back to any type of normalcy but I continue to keep up keep trying every day just keep trying every single day so that's my little secret there is no matter where you're at no matter what you're going through and trust me everybody is going through something keep going so i love y'all to the minute back i can't wait till our next video and until then remember be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another talk to you guys very soon bye-bye